Hello Adam, I'm Detective Simmons. Do you know why we've brought you in today? No. Alright then. Do you know this person? Yeah, I do. What was he to you? They were a friend. When was the last time you saw him? The last time I saw him was about a week ago. What were you doing? I'm so glad to see you, like... It didn't work out with me, obviously, but... Um, I'm not see, by we were having a night out and having a couple of drinks at the bar. Um, I haven't really seen him since then. So that was the last time you saw him? Um, see, our relationship wasn't that great in that moment, if I'm really honest. In what way? You see, I had recently broken up with my ex and he just got with her. So. How did that make you feel? It made me kind of feel betrayed. Yeah, it made me feel like really angry as well. Did he agree to meet up with you? Is that what happened? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how's your girlfriend treating you anyway? Yeah, we agreed to meet up. Um, so it was just the normal hanging out. Do you know if it would have anybody that would have a reason to harm him? If anything, I think my ex actually would have been the biggest harm towards him. Wait, why do you think that is? You see, when I was with her, she was always controlling. Controlling in what way? She would always like take my phone, not make me speak to my friends. It was just not very nice. So she probably did the same thing to him, but I don't know. Did you speak to your friend about this? Talk to a friend about this? No. It was just normal. I didn't really talk to anyone, to be honest. It was just me and him, and then we just went our separate ways. But what about when you last met up? Well, when we last met up, like as I said, we just went our separate ways, and we never really saw each other again, and now I'm hearing this bad news, and I'm just, I'm kind of all over the place, if I'm honest. Are there any specific details that he told you about her? I think he... He did like message me sometimes that he was he wasn't feeling well and that he had gone into arguments with her but I don't know I, I you know I tried to be a friend and I tried to help him out as a friend would but obviously I didn't help enough and I don't think I was a great enough friend in that regard What exactly did he say that night I mean we didn't really talk about it much. I'm not sure if that was because, obviously, she used to be my ex or obviously whatnot, but he didn't really bring her up much when we were talking as friends, so I, I don't really know. I mean, last time we met up, he did start opening up a little bit, but I think that was because, obviously, of the drinks we were having, it was kind of getting to him and he got a bit upset and whatnot. Like, I mean, yeah, he he did talk about her a lot that night and he was talking about how upset he was and how you couldn't really move on and whatnot. Suicide? No, 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 suicide, no, no. Um, he, he, I mean, he did say he couldn't move on and why he was thinking of ending it, but obviously everyone says that when they're drunk, it's it's something like which comes to your mind. It's, you just don't really say what you're thinking when you're drunk. So I can understand why he said that, but yeah, I don't know. How did he seem when you left? I mean, when he left, uh, I walked I walked with him for a little bit, 
um, out of the bar, obviously. And um, I mean, he was still crying and whatnot. He was, but I tried to cheer him up, and he seemed a little better when he went out. So I think I think I helped him a little bit, but I'm not too sure to be honest. It's a bit hit and miss. Well, thank you for your help today. We'll get in contact if, uh, with you and if we need anything else. Um, if you can think of anything else, please just give us a call or drop in here or something like that. We'll be happy to talk to you. We need this information. Oh uh, yeah, fa anyway, thank you. Interview terminated at 3.25 p.m.